Hello everybody, my name is Claudia Maria Otto Vargas. Uh, today I'm going to um, speak about some uh, strategies that the, the new work uh, can apply for the company. So, uh, the corporate level, level strategies. There are four strategies that the company can apply. Uh, for example, they can apply the stability strategy, which helps in a training uh, the existing business operation. Also, they can apply the expansion strategy, uh, will help in expanding the existing business operation. In enter to uh, a new market, it will provide competitive advantage in the market. Uh, the retrenchment uh, strategy, strategy um, will decrease the scope of the business from a competitive uh, point of view. The competition strategy uh, that is basically a mix of all the strategies that I already mentioned. Uh, they will provide a competitive advantage in the market. Um, so new world supermarket can use any of these measures strategy um, to take a competitive advantage in the market. So um, the recommendations. Um, um, one of the recommendations that we have for new world is uh, the globalization. Uh, due to globalization, a lot of companies, for example, can sell uh, products all over the world. Uh, so we recommend they to a uh, new world to open new stores in uh, in other countries, so they can so the business can be more profitable. Uh, the company can co can make uh, can make collaborate with uh, foreign governments. Uh, to launch its new stores in new locations all around the world. Uh, globalization will provide competitive uh, advantages uh, to the new world supermarket and will help to uh, the expansion of business operations. Um, new world supermarkets has involved in the past 57 years. Um, uh, through the years, a new market has adopted uh, new technologies uh, the technology uh, basically help to analyze the consumer behavior, the product uh, recommendations, the strategic decisions, and operating operational efficiency. Uh, for example, when you do a purchase in new work, it's going to appear this box that says like, um, if you like the product or uh, what do you think about the service. So this is um, one of the um, uh, one of the um, good things about technology uh, that new work apply because uh, new work can know what customers thinks uh, um, mm -hmm. what a lot of customers think like in, in a massive way. Um, so, um, also the new world supermarket can adopt new technologies such as uh, predictive analysis, extended uh, reality, recommendations, engines, face recognitions, uh, artificial intelligence, customer chatbots, robotics, and virtual reality. Um, this, of course, is uh, kind of like a um, like a premium technology that uh, new world. Uh, can apply, but um, this also has to be uh, checked and developed. It's like not right now, uh, we don't recommend that to do it like right now, it has to be a, a study before. So each technology has provided efficient operational efficiency in the business, like predictive analysis, help the business in the collection of data and analysis of data. Uh, the data will be used in a strategic decision making process. Artificial, in artificial intelligence has helped in a smart shopping and helped in better customer recommendations, as already said. Um, the recommendations uh, engines help the customers to find the things they never knew and helps in the progressive decision making process. 
Each technology has provided a positive outcomes in the business and now in the future. It will provide a competitive advantages to the new world supermarket. Um, so, um, the recommendations that we have is uh, the adoption of technology, uh, <coughs> the company uh, can get a dominance in the market, it helps the company to analyze customer behavior, product recommendations, strategy and decisions, a uh, company adopt new technologies such as uh, predictive analysis, fair recognition, as ja, I already said. Um, it enhances operation efficiency of business and get competitive um, advantage for a long time. Technology adoption is helpful for the company to develop a strategic decision by data uh, through predictive analysis. Um, uh, AI is used for smart shopping and effective customer recommendations. Um, recommendations engine helps to find out the things that never knew and develop positive results in the business. Yeah. So, this is all. Any questions? How can they link the uh, artificial intelligence with the face recognition? Why are, why are you trying to develop that area to charge the data of the customer? Uh, yeah, for example, um, uh, in the app of New, uh, New World, they can have like these uh, face recognitions. So automatically you can see, for example, the products that uh, you purchase, uh, what do you think. So this is basically the data that uh, New World can have for no uh, like the profile of the customer and basically what the customer wants. So this is something that uh, it's already done in some company, but this is premium, so it has to be analyzed. So, and uh, what is they use when they move from domestic to the globalization and what technology can be used for them? A what? <laughs> can you repeat? What, what a strategy they may implement when they move from the domestic market to the international market and what and what technology would be more helpful to move to help when they move to the global Um well uh, basically what we recommend to new work is to open new stores. Mm -hmm. uh, all over the world, so the business can be more profitable. Uh, yeah, that's what the strategy. The strategy? Yeah, so focusing either they gonna help with the gonna hire more people for the local one, or they can focus on the cost leadership or the differential leadership for going into the international market. Um, it basically has to be a study uh, for that, uh, but um, uh, for example, sometimes when you do a purchase or you search about a product or a company, um, there are some advertisements in the, in the, for example, in Instagram or in Facebook, they appear. So uh, that's a good strategy for the business so uh, people can know more about the company and yeah basically it just open you know stores around the world like there's not a like a strategy the strategy will be the globalization you know but yeah any question um, yeah yeah. <laughs> as you said, uh, as you said, New World have to uh, like uh, open their stores in the uh, other countries. Uh, but you th you think uh, the New World uh, have to decrease their prices as compared to the pack and save and other supermarkets? It's already decreased because, no. uh, for example, the um, strategies that they use 
is a competitive strategy. But there is a huge so, for example, uh, they sell the products uh, according to the market. No, but there for is example, a huge, the huge difference in prices of uh, the new world and the um, packaging. Do you find a new world more expensive than yeah. packaging of yeah. K or Kmart? Yeah. Yeah. It's basically the same. They can have, for example, offers or promotions. But it's basically what the prices of the new world uh, new world uh, uh, always on the high. It's not always high. It depends, for example, of the offers that they have. It's not always high. It's like a new world it has to be according to the competitors, basically. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>